Hi, this is JNM with part 4 of the series High Poly to Low Poly Workflow. In this one, we will UV unwrap the Low Poly model with Blender. So I started Blender and here you can see the High Poly model on the left and the Low Poly model we created in the last tutorial on the right side. I select the Low Poly model in edit mode and then I open a new window with the UV image editor. Then I create a new image and set the size to 2K. I call this pillar NM for normal because later on we will bake the normal map to this image. Now with the low poly selected in edit mode I press U and then select unwrap. But when I do this you can see that this is not the result we were going for. All the unwrapped faces overlap and are stretched over the image. So let's try a different approach and select Smart UV Project. In this pop-up window, I increase the margin between the unwrapped islands and after that I get an automatic unwrapping as result. This is an algorithm that unwraps and packs the UV islands, which is not bad, but if you for example want to paint onto the islands later on, it is hard to identify to which parts of the model the islands belong to. It can also produce seams on your texture where you don't want them to be, so let's go ahead and unwrap this model manually. Okay, let me show you how we can do this. First I select my high poly model in object mode and move it to a different layer so that we have a little bit more space for the low poly model. After that I reset the auto UV unwrapping and then I deselect all by pressing the A key. Then I go ahead and select the tab Shading UVs from the tool shelf. In this tab you have an option to mark seams. And this is what you do now to unwrap your model manually. You select edges with edge selection mode and mark these edges as seams. And when you press the U key and select unwrap then the model will be cut open at these seams and kind of unfolded like clothes, okay? So let's try this for the first seam we marked for the upper part of the model here. Press A to select all and then U and unwrap. And as you can see we get two UV islands. So let's go ahead and optimize this. Add in new seams to cut open the different parts of the model and unwrap again. There is also an option for live UV unwrapping but I will show this in a separate tutorial. I added new seams to split the upper part of the model and as a result we get three UV islands now, two for the top part and one for the rest. I will continue with this process to cut out the UV islands now and the goal is that I end up with islands that I can identify easily, that are not stretched and don't overlap. Okay, I'm quite happy with this. We have the top and the bottom parts and their outer rings and one larger UV island for the middle part of the pillar. Now we can use the default shortcuts to select the islands in the image editor like hovering over an island with the mouse and pressing the L key. Then you can rotate it with the R key or move it after pressing the G key. So you can arrange your islands as you like. Okay guys, that's it for UV unwrapping. In the next part we will bake the normal maps from the high poly to the low poly model with Blender, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to not miss the next tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching this, thanks for your support and I hope you come back soon to JNM.